Fall is upon us, and you can see that means pine needles are shedding. Well, probably most trees are doing their thing. We've got a few trees in our backyard, and this is what it looks like. So I wanted to make a video to put it to the test. The rake? Does that work? How well does that work? Or the lawnmower to pick up all these things. Which one is better? And I'll be making some general observations and giving you some tips along the way. So stay with me here. So this is the big question. Rake or mower? Let's start with the... Uh, well, let's take a look. This stuff's pretty thick. There's plenty of it, right? So let's get the mower out, boot it up. And one thing I'm noticing is that it has great access to underneath trees and whatnot, as opposed to the rake, which I'll talk more about in a second. But the bag fills up ultra quick. Although that's a pretty nice feature, right? Everything is bagged for you. So if you have a your big canister handy or a free place to dump an endless supply of pine needles. This is a great choice. Also, just running over them if you if you don't have like a heavy area, just kind of generally lighter, that's going to work pretty well too. Here's a shot. It's kicking it around. And that's what you'll notice when you go over the heavy Kind of the heavy areas. Look, it has a nice clean path though. I like that, right? But once it's full, it kicks it around a little bit. So and I'm doing this with one hand. So depending on the area of your lawn and how much you have to pick up, you'll be surprised how, how quickly this bag fills up. Um, you could have multiple trips to to dump it here. Uh, by the way, I'll mention if you do keep pine needles along the side of a fence, for example, uh, it's a great way to keep the weeds down and the grass from growing if you are looking for a natural way to control that. All right, so lawnmower here. I like it, generally speaking. But, oh, here's another shot of it kind of getting underneath the trees. Ooh, that's, that's a pretty nice bonus. I do like that, as opposed to the rake. Kind of push it under there. And again, it's pretty clean. Nice clean pickup. All right. Are you ready to move on to the rake? Here we go. Let's pick up the rake. And we'll see what my preferred, my winner is here. Apples to apples, we're kind of picking up the same amount. It's pretty thick. And by the way, a perfect place for mice and all kinds of good things to hide and rest. So you definitely want to get this stuff scooped up, picked up, especially under the base of the tree where it com kind of compiles. All right, now I've got one hand here. But with two hands, this is a pretty fast process. Okay, I'm less impressed with getting underneath the base. But again, if you don't have a lot of like big branches sticking out, it's not that bad. So what we're going to do here is make multiple piles. And this is going pretty quickly. And I do like the fact that we don't have to dump anything, right? You just put them into piles and then scoop them up. So what is the verdict? With leaf pickup or light pine needle pickup, I definitely preferred the mower as opposed to the rake. The mower, again, had the versatility to get underneath areas that were difficult to access and was most definitely the winner if you're picking up light layers of pine needles or leaves as opposed to the rake. However, if you've got pretty dense stuff, lots of fall here, uh, the rake is probably the way to go. It was a little faster. You can scoop it up. Obviously, you'd use two hands, go a little faster here, make these big piles, and then scoop them up into your uh, yardy device thingy, whatever you are emptying it into. So that is the video. That's the verdict. And hopefully this has helped you out deciding whether or not to get out the lawnmower or the old rake. Thanks so much.